Welcome to a Hyperlinks DRC training video. Today we will be discussing a DRC in the EMI category. This DRC is the VS stub length. Looking at the parameters and purpose of the VS stub DRC, the purpose of it is to check that VIAs do not have long stubs. The length of a stub on a VIA can be disastrous for a high speed signal traveling through that VIA because if there's a long stub then it can be seen the signal seeing that stub can be reflected and it will cause EMI issues. The parameters here are very simple we can just change the maximum stub length depending on which nets we want to run the rule on. This is one of those DRCs where you do not want to apply it to the entire design because you would check every V in the design and not every VIA needs to have this VIA stub length check. Or not all VIAs need to have the same maximum stub length value. So we want to apply it to a specific object list. And in this case, I have a few high speed object lists I want to choose from. I have some DDR uh, high speed object lists, I have a PCIe one, and DDR3 memory address lines. So for here, I'm just going to execute this DRC and check all my DDR3 memory address lines. They shouldn't contain any vias with long stubs on them at all. And just as a proof of concept, Hyperlinks TRC reports it back green in the output window that there are no violations found, which is what I expected. But on certain differential pairs that contain high speed signals, like my PCIe differential pair object list, this contains all PCIe diff pairs in the design, they will have vias, and some of them will have vias with too long of a length, um, creating a max via stub. So running the rule now on that object list reports back some violations. And by clicking on a violation, we can see the via in question here. And we can see which layer it spans. So it starts in layer 12 or, and expands to layer 8. And Hyperlink CRC makes it very easy to find out where on the portion of the board this via is contained and it checks our parameter for the max stub via length. I hope this training video was helpful in finding the vias that are on high speed traces that have a minimum length requirement for the high speed signals. Thank you.